Hello, my dear children. Hope all of you are doing very good. In previous lesson, previous video, we uh, learned about tenses and the three types of tenses that is present tense, past tense, and future tense. Today, I will discuss about the three forms of the verb of some common verbs like the present forms of verb, past forms of verb, and the future forms of the verb. Let's start our today's lesson. Tenses, chapter number 13. Before starting our today's lesson, we will do a short recap of our previous lesson. So let's check. In previous lesson, we learned tenses are related to time. Tenses are related to times. Second things we learned that the tenses are arrived is a form of verbs or action verbs. Third things we learned that the tenses have three types. Tenses have three types. First one is present tense, second past tense, third future tense. Okay, my dear children, now I will start our today's lesson. So, my dear children, all of you open your grammar root book, page number 51. So, we will start from here. Below are a few simple present, simple past, and simple future tenses of some common verbs. Here we can see the three columns is here. First, in the first column, there is written simple present tense. In the second column, it is written simple past tense. And in the third column, it is written simple future tense. That means every common verb has three different forms. Every common verb has simple present form, simple past form, and the simple future form. So how it will be? Just take a look. The First word, the first word is sing. So the verb word sing, in the present form, it will be as it is sing. But in the simple past form, the verb sing will be sang. Sang, S-A-N-G, sang. And in the simple future form, we need to use will or shall before the verb sing. And it will be will sing or shall sing. The same way the next word is break. For the present form, the verb break will be as it is break b r e a k but for the past form it will change into brook b r o k e brook and in the simple future again we need to use will or shall before the verb like will break or shall break. Now the next one, the next verb is buy. In a simple present form the word will be buy. In the past form the word will be bought. The buy will change into bought. And for the future form it will will buy or shall buy. The next one is rain. 
and for simple past tense the rain will be rained rained we need to add ed at the end of the word and it will become rained for the future tense we need to use will or shall before the word rain so it will be will rain or shall rain the next one is takes in the simple past form it will be took and the future form it will will take or shall take the next one is in the present form the verb will be grow in the past form it will be grew and the future form it will be will grow or shall grow the next one is has or have in the present form the word will be has and have but in the past form it will change into had has and have both will change had change into had in the past form now in the future form it will will have or shall have in the future form we need to use will have or shall have here the next word is here in the present form the word will be here and in the past form it will be heard heard the simple future form we need to use will or shall before the word here and it will be will here or shall here next one is hide in the present form the word will be hide but the past form it will change into hit hit and for the future form it will will hide shall hide next one is jump in the present form it will be jump but in the past form it will be jumped we need to add ed jumped and in the future form it will we will jump or shall jump next word is no in the present form the word will be no but for the past form it will change into new no new and for the future form it will will know or shall know now the next word is leave leave for the present form the word will be leave but for the past form it will become left leave left and for the future form it will will leave or shall leave page number 52 there are also some common verbs and those are lose first one is lose in the present form the word will be lose but for the past form it will change into lost lose lost and for the simple future tense it will will lose shall lose will lose or shall lose next one is meet in the present form the verb will be meet but for the past form it will become met it will become met meet met and for the simple form we need to add will or shall before meet so it will will meet or shall meet the next one is open 
open present form it the word will be open but for the past form it will become opened need we will use ed at the end of the word opened so open opened and for the future form will open or shall open will open or shall open next one is pray pray present form the word will pray for the past form it will become prayed pray prayed and for future form it will will pray or shall pray next word is pull for present form it will the word will be pull for the past form also the past form we need to add ed and it will become pulled pull pulled and for the future form it will will pull or shall pull the next word is put for the past form it will be remain as same put there is no changes for the past form put put and for the simple form simple uh, future form we need to add will put or shall put 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 shall put or will put next one is run for the present form the word will be na run but for the simple past tense in the simple past tense the word will change into ran run ran and for the future tense it will will ran will run and or shall run will run shall run 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 ran will run shall run next word is read read the simple present tense the word will be read but for the past tense it will be remain same read so this word in a present tense also read and in the past tense also it will be read like put and for the future tense we need to write will or shall before the word read so it will be will read or shall read the next word is ring for the present form it will be ring and for the past form it will become rang ring rang and for future form we need to use will or shall before the word ring and it will be will ring or shall ring will ring or shall ring the next one is rise in a present form the word will be rise but for the past form it will become into rose rise rose and for future will rise shall rise will rise or shall rise the next one is stand for present form the word will be stand but for the past form it will change into stood stand stood and in future form we need to use will or shall before the word stand like will stand or shall stand next word is sit present form it will be sit but for the past form it will be sat sit sat and in the future form it will be will sit or shall sit 
sit, set, will sit or shall sit. Sleep. Next word is sleep. For present form, the word will be sleep, but for the past form, it will change into slept. Sleep, slept, will sleep or shall sleep. In the future form, it will will sleep, shall sleep. The next word is think. In the present form, the word will think, but for the past form, it will change into thought. Think, thought. And for the future form, it will be will think or shall think. The next word is write. The present form, the word will be write, but for the past form, it will change into wrote. Write, wrote. And for the future form, it will become will write or shall write. Will write or shall write. The last word is work. In the present form, the word will be work. But in the past form, it will change into worked. We need to add ed at the end of the word. And it will become worked. And the future form, we need to add will or shall before work. And it will be will work or shall work. So, my dear children, all of you need to learn those common verb with their three forms. Present forms and the past forms and the simple future forms by heart. Okay, once you learn those words and the forms, every forms of those verbs, then you can try to solve the exercises. Once you finish, learned those words, then you try to solve the exercise. And the key word and the, all the answer keys, I will upload in the Google Classrooms in the next day. So first, your duty is to learn those words by heart. Then you will solve the exercises and you will get the answer keys in the Google Classroom by next day. So my dear children, here I'm going to end our today's lesson. Stay healthy and stay happy at your home. Bye-bye.